Hello. It's very topical at the moment and this morning I have woken up with a slightly scratchy, vaguely sore throat. Nothing to worry about but given with how I've been feeling uh, the last couple of days over the weekend and into yesterday, I thought I was just tired. But actually I recognise now with the symptoms I'm feeling this morning that is probably I've got a little bit of a lurgy lurking in there and I need to take care of myself. So I thought I'd share um, some very simple tips that I use, my personal uh, sort of process for how to look after myself because it's pretty devastating as a singer particularly if you're if you if it's your your livelihood um, if you feel under the weather and you can't get to do all the things you want to do and had hoped to and of course we're in September so the autumn term is an incredibly busy one normally with lots of rehearsals for everybody and with the seasonal changes and adjustments that we have to make that's quite a vulnerable time for us because we tend to think of things like hay fever or um, sensitivities like that we associate those with spring and summer and flowers and things but of course as we go into the autumn there are all sorts of other triggers and spores in the air the dampness in the air that can trigger all sorts of things so I'm just sharing with you my own personal what I should be doing to look after myself in the next week or so so number one I realized that this is my body's way of saying hold on something's happening you're not looking after yourself so that's true I know that is it's been a very busy summer and I've kind of hit September and the first week back teaching and I'm trying to trying to catch up with myself and I probably pushed myself a bit too much and number one thing I'm not doing is I'm probably not resting enough I know that sounds very kind of um, conservative but we do need to rest. Number two is probably I've taken a few shortcuts with what I've been eating lately just for the speed of things and settling into a new routine. So the very first thing I'm going to do today is to make sure that I get a little bit more organised with what I'm going to have to eat every day and not just reach for the easier, easiest answers Number three, I know that I have not been drinking water enough. Now I'm not a great lover of tap water so my go-to drink is actually um, coconut water. Um, I've been an advocate of coconut water for uh, quite a long time now because it kind of does lots of wonderful things. Um, to my mind it tastes better than tap water but also it has lots of potassium in it essential to us and it also has lots of those very magical electrolytes so I'm kind of doing myself a favour um, by drinking perhaps two or three glasses of this per day. And I know that I haven't been doing that of late. So I'm going to get back on the old regime and I've got my glass ready to have once I finish doing this video. Um, another thing is that I believe in taking um, doses of minerals. These are not rock based minerals. These are actually plant based soluble mineral tablets or what do they call them, not tablets, but they call them something else, um, which you dissolve in a glass of water. Now that's a tremendous tonic and boost, and I haven't been, I've been falling behind a little bit with that, so maybe I might take a few more of those in the day. Um, and then if I'm really feeling poorly, perhaps in the evening, and I might need a bit of a boost, I'm a great lover of um, um, essence of cinnamon. Um, it's very warming, and you can have it you can have it very innocently in um, a small glass of milk, it's very warming, or you can have it in a nice glass of whiskey at the end of the day, and it's great for just kind of soothing that tired throat. There's nothing you can do to stop a cold coming. Number one, you should not take any suppressants and really avoid decongestants and more than anything, antihistamines, yep all these products that you go to the chemist to find and you think are going to be helpful for a singer all of those three things will do one thing for sure and that is to dry up the natural mucus that you need to lubricate and coat your vocal folds um, we all rely on that natural mucus every day and when we have a cold there's just more of it more of it so the idea is is that you 
by drinking more, more water or more coconut water, you're actually helping to thin down that mucus and therefore expel it by blowing your nose more. Okay, and if, but if you, if you suppress that happening, that natural occurrence, then all it is is you're actually trapping the virus, or whatever is causing the problem, inside your body and you're less likely to be able to fight it. I guess I would close by saying my other favourite thing to do is, um, if I'm feeling a bit under par, is that I do try to do some exercise. Walking is the best exercise. It's great for the body and fantastic for the mind. Even a short walk will be, it will be sufficient just to make you feel that little bit better. If I've got a headache, I do take ibuprofen or paracetamol, but pretty much that's it. Maybe a lozenge. If I'm if I'm out and about and I've got a sore throat, I might buy something that doesn't have any of those nasties in them, but something that would just keep my throat lubricated so I don't cough all the time. Because of course, the excessive coughing um, is not good for vocal folds. So. You really want to try and avoid getting to that stage. So thing is, you've got to get right back to basics and start looking after yourself. If you've got a cold or a cough coming, it's a sure sign that you're not 100%. So you've got to start straight away by taking more rest, drinking more water and taking natural remedies rather than going straight to the chemist to buy all those products which will dry your vocal folds out and also inhibit getting better. OK, so... um. There'll be more from me this week if I'm um, sharing posts that I've, I've, so reposting things that I've posted in the past, which I hope you'll find it will be really interesting and, and helpful to you if you are suffering just like I think I might be. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a lovely day.